Hi guys, this is Farz and welcome back to Farz Lozi and I am here with another ray touching and color grading tutorial and in this tutorial I'll show you uh, how to edit, how to ray touch, how to color grade a outdoor portrait and uh, this is a very beautiful picture and I want to color grade, I want to give a little bit of cinematic, a filmy and a movie color look so I hope you love this tutorial okay now let's get started. Okay, uh, this is the picture I want to edit. Uh, if you want, you can read us now, and if you want, you can read us after the color grade. Okay, uh, I don't know what should I do. Okay, let's color grade first. So copy the layer by pressing Ctrl and J, and then convert it to a smart object. That's fine. Now open it on camera raw filter. And for the retouching, I will use a action of mine. So you will get this action totally free. The link is on the description. And also I will give you uh, the light that I will use in this picture that is also free. You will get this on the description too. So it's some like and comments for those. The free stuff, okay. Okay, now let's jump into the camera raw. So let's open the basic first and I want to, okay. Let's increase the temperature a little bit, not a little bit, I think around maybe plus 30, around 30 and I have to decrease the tint because I want a little bit greenish vibe in the uh, shadows. So I am here giving around 40. So basically I am giving a little bit warmer look through the temperature, uh, increasing the temperature and a little bit greenish look uh, by decreasing the tint. Okay. So you can see the color, right? So here is ma. What, what is the color? I don't know. I forgot it. Little bit magenta type color, maybe magenta. I'm I'm not sure. And this is the greenish, and this is the bluish, a little bit cooler color, and this is the yellowish color. So basically, I increase the uh, yellowish color, and then I increase the greenish color. So this is uh, the thing in temperature and tint. Okay, now come into the exposure, and now it's looking a little bit exposed to exposed so i need to decrease it uh, i'm giving around oops oops i'm giving around i think i think this is fine it looks too dark but we'll fix it later okay and i need to decrease the contrast look at this by decreasing contrast the brightness is automatically a little bit up so here I'm giving around minus uh, 20 and for the highlights I need to decrease the highlights because of this part look at this now this is this is too bright so I need to decrease that part so I'm giving minus around minus 80 that's good okay now I need to uh, increase the sh shadows so now look at this now look at the subject and other parts it it looks good right now okay so here I am giving around 80, okay, that's fine. And here I want to decrease uh, or, or I think I should increase the white because of the subject maybe. So I am giving around plus 20 for white. And for black I am giving around minus 7, that's fine. And I will increase the texture just a little plus 7. Okay, that's fine. And here let's increase the vibrance a little bit for warm up warm up it's not warm up okay uh, I think plus 12 for vibrance that's good and now I think it depends on your choice if you want you can increase the saturation if you want you can decrease the saturation always don't follow the preset don't follow me too keep experimenting and you will find your own style now coming to the curves okay for the curves I want to uh, what should I say? I want to add a little bit of uh, faded effect and also I want to uh, mute the highlights. So this one and this one is very important. So let's add some faded effect here. Take this point a little bit off. Not too much, just a little. I think this is fine and make another point. Make it a little bit dark. Okay, that's fine. And create another one here. This time make it a little bit bright. So 
I think it's it's look like the S curve yeah I think this is fine it's typical S curve and I said I want to mute the highlights a little bit so drag this down little I think this is fine okay now go to the green curves and make a point here just a little in the shadows not so much very little you can skip this one okay now coming to the detail option you can add sharpness from here i think around 25 and also the uh, color noise reduction from here so i'm giving both uh, color noise reduction 25 i think i should increase the sharpness a little bit more so here i am giving around uh, 35 okay you can see how much sharpening you applying you are applying just press and hold alter and drag this masking slider now you can see where you are applying your sharpness so yeah it looks good now come into the color mixer option and go to the hue okay let's play with the red i think the lipstick is very little so here i am giving minus 100 yeah it's, it's for this picture not for all this picture i will give minus 100 so and then for orange i think i think let's minus 18 is looking good and for yellow okay not too much i think minus 26 it gives a little bit uh, pinkish pinkish color in the skin too so that's good and for green okay look at this okay let's give around um, 75 and uh, for aquas i think let's give i don't like this type of blue like i like more teal like color so here i'm giving around minus 70 that's good and for blue uh, i think i should minus 20 okay minus 20 i think minus 20 looks good to me that's good now come into the saturation option and I'd increase the saturation of reds around 20 also orange 24 and green i to decrease it so here i'm giving around minus 34 and green uh minus minus 85 and decrease back was 2 here i'm giving minus 65 and for blues i am giving around minus 60 for purple minus 40 and the last one magenta around minus 30 35 that's fine okay that's fine now coming to the luminance option and here i am to increase the orange the luminance that's control the brightness of color so here i'm giving around 35 i think 35 is too much i think 15 that's fine and i need to decrease the yellow so i'm giving minus 16 and for green i'm giving around minus 60 oops and for aquas i'm giving plus 5 and blues around 30 35 that's fine okay now coming to the color grading option and select the shadows here and let's see which color i think blue color yeah teal color actually so i'm giving here uh, in the shadows i'm giving 190 so that is the uh, teal color actually and uh saturation around 12 and the blending 100 okay now coming to the uh, highlights option and uh, let's see which color should i use in the highlights i think mm, little bit of bluish color maybe greenish greenish i think i should use greenish kind of color okay uh okay so i'm giving here 135 in the hue the greenish color and for saturation i'm using around 25 that's good okay 
perfect and now come into the effects option and if you want you can use some grain so i'm here giving around uh 20 to 25 i think 20 is good so i'm giving 20 and then come into the camera calibration option and okay let's see come into the red primary and here i am giving around uh 16 17 okay that's fine and i have to decrease the saturation a little bit so i am giving around minus 11 and the last one the blue primary so here i am giving and look at this and just look at this i love this blue primary ah it's really good so here i'm giving around minus 63 for hue and around minus 40 or less than 40 minus 35 okay 35 is looking good to me so i'm giving minus 35 okay that's good okay i think uh the color grading is done look at this this was the before the total flat white picture <laughs> and look at this the color it looks really good really good uh, but one thing is missing i think because because we use uh, a moody vibe so the subject the subject is not looking that prominent so we want to make a difference between the subject and the background okay so you can do it in camera raw. go to this adjustment brush and here we'll find another brush just to zoom in and here is the options so if you want i want to brighten up the subject so i have already ex uh, increased the exposure 0 0.5 okay uh, now let's paint on the area you want to brighten up the subject i think this is fine and let's see the before and after look at this this was the before this was the subset before applying this and this is after it looks really good okay i think i should decrease the highlights a little bit more let's zoom out and see it looks really good let's decrease it a little bit more i think plus 45 and increase the highlights like this so i think this is fine you can see the area just clicking on this so this is it the color grading is done and now press ok so look at this this was the v4 a flat white picture and this is after just some color grading in camera raw it looks really good but now i want to uh, make the skin a little bit smooth okay so for this i want to use a retouching action and i said it before also it will get this action totally free i just need some likes and comics please do <laughs> okay uh, okay i have to create and to merge this two layer into a single layer you know the process press shift plus ctrl plus alter plus e that's good and now the open action panel and just load the action and play it's very simple okay let's zoom in i think 17 is too much okay let's try use 7 and 7 is too perfect <laughs> okay now press ok and radius value i think 4.5 is looking great to me i'm going with 4.5 okay that's good okay and just now paint with the white brush on your skin opacity 100 percent flow 100 percent just paint like this take your time and do it perfectly so i think it's done let's see the before and after look at this look at the skin look at this this was the before and this is after I think it will help you to uh, make your skin smooth and also to help help you to blend the colors. Okay, this is done. The color grading, the color grading and the retouching is done. Okay, now there's some shine, or you can call it does. So for this, create a curves, simple curves, just 
make it bright, that's good. Press Ctrl and I to fill the mask with the black color. And now pick a white soft brush with the flow around 5% maybe or less than that. And now just paint. Again take your time and do it. Okay, now to brighten up, brighten up the eyes also and also the teeth a little bit. So, just I think this is done. Now, look at this. This was the before, and this is after. If you think this is too much, you can always decrease it. From here, I think around 79% looks good to me. So this is it. Let's see the before and after. Look at this. This was the before, and this is after. It looks really good to me. And I want to add a light here, a little bit sun flare. So let's do it. And now go to the place embedded, and you will get this free also. Make it a little bit bigger and change the blending mode. You know. If you want to hide the black color, just send the blending mode to screen. And if you hide the white color, change the blending mode to multiply. Now we want to hide the black color, right? So screen, obviously. And look at this, the black part is gone. Okay, now make it a little bit bigger and wider. And position it like this. I think looks good. Press enter. Look at this. This is really perfect, but I want to crop this part. It's it's annoying. Okay. I think I think I think it will be fine. Uh, this will be fine. I don't know. Press enter. So this is it. Look at this. This was the before and this is after. So let's see so this one is after the color grading okay and this one after the skin retails this one after applying dolls and dolls only dolls not one and this one just adding a light look at the difference it looks really good and i hope you love this tutorial if you did hit the like button leave your comments and don't forget to subscribe and also you will get this as a preset on my patreon account so support me on patreon okay thank you